Hey, Brian here. Uh, we're going to walk through just one thing in uh, Google Analytics that relates to Google Webmaster Tools. So essentially, Google Webmaster Tools uh, is a product of its own, and they're trying to pull in the data so that you can have everything in one interface. And I think you'll see that over time. They've you know added more AdWords reports, and they're trying to integrate all that information so that Google Analytics is kind of this digital suite. They've been talking about it since 2012. I remember going to like a um, I don't even remember what it is, Google I.O. event or something like that, and they were talking about it then, still not done. But the Webmaster Tools data in Google Analytics is pretty useful, especially as you're learning, learning Google Analytics. Um, and I just want to take two minutes to go over this. Um, you know, essentially the use case is like, you want to know what, tra what queries are driving traffic to your page. Um, and before, you know, in this uh, all traffic, we had a, uh, a keyword report and it would tell us all the keywords and then they added not provided and it became this big thing. Uh, they've since added it back a little bit. It's not as granular as before, uh, but it is still really useful and I'm surprised that more people don't think it, that it is uh, as useful as it is. So, um, you know, what you wanna do is you wanna pick a specific page that you're looking to explore the traffic. And since this drinkware page is up here, we're just gonna go for it. Um, once you click on a specific page, it automatically becomes a, a table of data just for that page, and it breaks it down by primary dimension search query. So what this means is these are all the queries that triggered the Drinkware page. Um, and you can actually see there are 511 down here. Probably can't see it, uh, but we can actually show all those rows. I'll just show 1,000. Um, and you'll see impressions sorted top to bottom. And, ooh, that's a lot of them. Um, a lot of really crazy stuff, even getting some Russian queries. I don't even know if I want to translate that. Um, but as you can see, there's a wide range. However, uh, it follows the 80-20 rule. 20% 20 of your queries generate 80% of the impressions, as you can see here. Um, and what you want to do is essentially, you're probably looking at this to understand what those are, uh, what's driving traffic to your site. Uh, but then also to make sure that your optimizations are correct. So as an SEO consultant, or if you have an SEO consultant, you might say like, oh, um, this page is optimized for this keyword, but something's funky, maybe it's not really driving traffic there. You might have something thematically wrong with your site where, uh, you know, in the case of a marketing agency, you might say that, oh, okay, we want to be a marketing agency, yet because you focus on pay-per-click, like something I do, um, you might be getting all the pay-per-click traffic to your homepage, so then you need to kind of retheme your site like a pay-per-click agency, and then have uh, you know Facebook, Google, all that stuff be the subpages. So um, it can actually help you define your business, actually, in that sense. Um, but yeah, this is how you do it. So you can just um, you can of course look at all the queries um, on their own. Unfortunately, you can't click on a query and then look at the landing page, although you can do that in Webmaster Tools. Uh, but this isn't super helpful. Like, it's kind of nice. Yay, we're ranking for Google T-shirt, and we're getting a lot of traffic there. Um, really, the winner is clicking on an individual landing page and then finding the queries um, that are triggering it. So, hope that's helpful. Quick one today. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments.